In this demo, I'll show you how to inspect certificate bundles, split them, and check each of them individually. I will first open up the bundle in a text editor, then I will show you the contents, then I will extract the certificates from within the bundle, then I will open up the CRT certificate file. After that, I will rename the cert file to make the file name more meaningful, and then I will repeat for each cert contained within the bundle. So for this demo, I have two bundle files, beta trial underscore fullchain.pem.crt and komodo bundle.crt. If I double click on each of these cert files, you will only see one certificate. That's because um, Windows will only show you the one certificate. It won't show you the entire chain. Since I know these are bundle files, I will open them up inside of my text editor. So if you remember, each PEM file has a begin certificate and a end certificate. This makes up one block. So if I were to copy this out and save it into its own individual cert file and double click on it, then you will see each of the certificates. So as you can see, this beta trial underscore full chain dot pem dot crt contains more than one certificate so for the first block i will copy it create a new text file and then paste the contents remember to uh, save the entire block as a begin certificate and ending with the end certificate And then I will repeat for the next block. For the two text files, I will open them up quickly and take a quick look to make sure they are both unique and not the same. Now I'll rename them with a file extension of .crt. And then I will double click on them so we can identify which are the certificates. Now that the file has been renamed with a file extension of .crt, I will then double click on them and then we will identify each certificate. After, afterwards, we will rename the files to make the file name more meaningful. So as you can see, one of the certificate files is the SSL signed cert, and then the other one is the intermediate certificate for Let's Encrypt. So now I'll proceed to rename the cert files to make them more meaningful and to avoid future confusion. And then I'll double click on them again just to double check I have named the correct files. And now I'll, I will repeat for the next bundled certificate, komodo bundle.crt. So I'll open it up. I'll show you that there's only one cert being shown, but the file contains multiple certificates. So I will open it up inside my text editor. As you can see, there are several certificate blocks as denoted by the begin and the end certificate. So for the first block, I will copy it, create a new text file, paste it in, and then I will repeat for each block found inside this bundle. So it's always a good idea to inspect the cert files that you might receive from a customer because 
they might have sent you a chain but if you were just to double click on it you would not realize that it contained more than one certificate Another way to look at the PEM format of the blockchain is to look at the uh, characters, either at the top line or the bottom line. So in case you, are, um, you receive a bundle that contains multiple blocks, maybe, maybe the uh, blocks are duplicated more than once inside the, the, the file. So for here, I'm just comparing the last couple of characters on the first line and the last couple of characters on the last line. Uh, so this kind of shows that the last two blocks should be identical. So as you can see, these two cert files are slightly different and they are different intermediates. So in this example, there are no SSL certificates in the bundled file. They are both intermediate certificates for Komodo. So again, the, the bundles could contain intermediates or a mix of SSL certificates and intermediates. It just depends on where the bundle was obtained. So I'll just rename the two files to make them more meaningful. So one, of the, one is the Komodo RSA Certificate Authority and the other one is the Domain Validation Intermediate Certificate. And again, the bundle may or may not necessarily be correct when you received it, unless you have received it directly from the Certificate Authority themselves. So other aspects, when double clicking on the CRT, you can look at the details tab and then drill down to each of the fields for closer inspection. Okay, so there you go. This demo is now complete. Thank you.